Here we are at ISC, the ISC facility in Port Coquitlam. And uh, first off, I want to thank you for taking the time to explain a little bit about some of the activities here at ISC. Uh, why don't we start with telling us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Alex Johnson. I'm the mechanical department manager here at ISC. Uh, I oversee the mechanical engineers and technicians and designers, and, as well as supporting customers in the field and with the delivery of vehicles. Okay, thank you very much, Alex. Uh, I can see behind you uh, we have the uh, the ISC R&D vehicle yes. that's going to see uh, sea trials uh, coming up in the next week or so. I know there are a few items uh, on the vehicle that you really can't go into too much detail on, but what can you tell us about this uh, new built vehicle? Um, well, there are several features in the new ISC vehicle that are uh, quite innovative and are part of our R&D program. Uh, one of those features is the new modular design of the VCC mm -hmm. that allows it to be expandable and more easily manufactured um, in order to fit uh, uh, more easily within the vehicle and give the, pay the customer more options for payloads and configurability. Um, in addition to that, we have the new fast charge feature, which allows the vehicle to be charged within three hours, and we're hoping to get that down to a little less than three hours. Uh, which allows for a fast deck turnaround, in a, which is a comparable amount of time to the swappable batteries that are available in some other vehicles. Okay. Um, in addition to that, we have the passive variable ballast system, which will allow the vehicle to have uh, more buoyancy on the surface and uh, provide the customer with better and longer communication range with the vehicle. Um, in addition to that, mm -hmm. we have, oh, the new plane design. That's, that's another big feature on this vehicle. Okay. Um, the robustness of the new planes uh, is greatly increased by the fact that they no longer will have a gearbox, it's all direct drive. Mm -hmm. uh, it allows for fast reaction time, increased maneuverability, and also varying the, the actual size of the planes. Over the, uh, in the future, we'll be able to vary the, the size and shape of the planes to allow the vehicle increase maneuverability near the surface or minimize drag for long, long distance performance. I see. It seems that all of the items that you've just mentioned uh, seem to be geared towards more efficiency and cost savings for the end user. Would that be an accurate assumption, Alex? Absolutely. Uh, hmm. Being able to cover more kilometers of ground per hour of ship time is one of our biggest goals. Okay. It's all about getting the most data for the least amount of ship time. Okay. Well, on behalf of the audience out there, I thank you very much. I appreciate your time. I know you're busy, so I'll let you get back to work. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Alex.